trained as a professional calligrapher in Istanbul, Turkey. In total, it took around seven years. So I could be a doctor, in fact. And so after a seven year training, I received a calligraphic license, which basically authorizes me to teach and also sign my own work. The challenge of trying to make this traditional art, which I have learned, uh, relevant and also exploring new technology, but at the same time not giving up my craft. Um, and that's what I've explored through calligraphic animation called Korea, meaning freedom, but also in a new commission for Cartwright Hall Gallery called Pen and Sword. Once I decided that the theme was going to be the pen and sword, I had the pen case, but then how, what was the story, the narrative that was going to come out of the pen case and the inkwell. Um, and another piece that I was taken by was the, the jolly screen and the tree of life motif. And so I decided that the narrative and the story should be about these letters that come out of the, the inkwell and they grow into a tree. Um, and knowledge is often likened to a tree, which then gets cut down in this, this introducing the sword aspect, the pen and the sword working together where the pen triumphs in the end. So visitors to the exhibition will hopefully see similarities in the form of the tree in the animation with the actual form of the tree of life in the jelly screen as well. The pen and sword seems to be a universal theme but that the pen is mightier than the sword. So that's a, an English expression, but it's believed that the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said that the ink of the scholar is more holy than the blood of the martyr. So it's been interesting working with other people as well, because calligraphy is usually a very solitary mm -hmm. exercise. And I think that's what I like about using new technology. It gives me a chance to work with other people and collaborate. Otherwise, I'm just in my studio with a pen <laughs> and paper and something. So I've used a a holographic box or some te technological fancy kit along with using my hand drawn calligraphy to create an animation which works with the pen case inside the actual unit. So it's mixing the old and the new together. Being able to do that digitally gives you the freedom and also to choose colour. Um, speed, movement, these are all what things that you can do when you're working digitally, which you can't, it's just two dimensions. I didn't deliberately set out to make my work relevant thematically, so responding to current social issues. Um, I never set out to do that. I prefer for the work to have, or to be interpreted in any way that the viewer likes to see it. So with hurry and with freedom, I didn't to kind of specify what kind of freedom I'm talking about. Um, but I just felt with this piece I had to be a bit more direct and not sit on the fence so much. <laughs> but uh, as an art form, what's very important to me is that even though calligraphy or Arabic calligraphy is related directly to a language, the language, the literal meaning itself is not important only. And that's, that's one of my struggles is to surmount the literal meaning so the artistic and the visual aspect actually speaks to anyone and everyone no matter who they are. And that's what I try to achieve in my work generally. And I hope that no matter what I do, because I'm using my craft in the way that I've been trained, all those hundreds of years of training that have come through my hand end up in the work. So I hope that there is always some sort of light in the work which 